Hey everybody, I'm Peel Barch. In this video, I'm going to be um, starting off the U.S. side of the uh, of the Warplanes World War II dogfight once again. Um, so basically, it's just a demo on how to you know basically just generally start off the game. Uh, I'm going to do a couple episodes, I think, on it, or maybe three, you know, one for each mission. But anyway, for this, this is the first part. Um, I'll have the next part coming out as Right after I film it, uh, after I finish filming this one, I'll film the uh, second part, and then the third part, and so on. So anyway, anyway, you got the start game thing. Uh, everything, everything uses the mouse. And before I go there, I'm gonna go to settings. Um, this just says show mode uh, selection screen. This is like use use national voiceovers for each campaign, which basically you'll have this guy talking, and he'll t you know you can basically just um. You, you know, if you if you want a British guy talking on all the uh, campaigns, then then um just click this off, like I have it right now. Or if you want like Japanese for Japanese and Russian for Russian and so on, um then you just click it off. And I'm just gonna click it on. This is optimized mode. It just takes out some of the effects and just makes the graphics quality look terrible. This is the um I'm just gonna set that to low so that my battery doesn't die on me. Cause that's really annoying when it does. Anyhow, here we go. So, everything controls with the mouse. I'm gonna go to pilot. Go to USA, and then you'll have this little intro thingy here. Oh, wait, no. Shoot. Never mind. Gonna reset the game save. <laughs> Okie dokie. Wait. Here we go. Uh, it'll start with this. In 1942, the Pacific has become a major theater in the global conflict. Blah, blah, blah. USA and Japan have become fully involved in the war. Soon after the attack on Pearl Harbor, the United States formed a special top-secret Air Force unit, which had one goal, stop Japan's march to victory. Yeah, great. A new squadron leader is heading to the base to take command of this unit. Okay, let's just click start here, and now when you move your mouse to... When you move your mouse, oh shoot! Uh, when you move your mouse to the center, it starts the control the controls. And at first, the planes have limited agility. It's not like in War Thunder where you can like do barrels and that kind of crap. Uh, you can only turn a predetermined uh, at a predetermined angle. Um, you can only climb at an angle. You can only shoot for a certain amount of time. And you you have overdrive, and you can also press Z to look behind your plane. So Z. Okay. Now I'm gonna... Hey, copy. Go ahead. We have Get a situation here. Several enemy fighters have been spotted south of your position. You are our only operational fighter right now. You have to eliminate them before they cause any serious damage. Roger that, Commander. I'm on. Which they don't actually do anything. Now... See, all the enemies are marked with either red or, um, yellow. Uh, the blue or green is always additional friends or friends and that kind of stuff. Um, this is your plane damage. This will turn red and look like it's gotten bullet holed, uh, if you got hit too many times. And once it reaches here, you pretty much just want to retreat. Uh, this is your auto-aim right here, which is an interesting feature. You hold, you hold the right mouse button. This is left mouse button, right mouse button. Sight. Okay, so now we're targeted here. So basically, I'm... Gotcha. So you fire with your left mouse button. So you can only turn... This Closing now the I'm pumping the space bar. I'm pumping the space bar to, to get overdrive indefinitely. If you just you hold it, you can see that the overdrive gets red. Now, right now, the auto aim just sucks for some reason. Now I can also use it without the auto aim. I have it. That works surprisingly well, actually. I got it. Mission objective achieved. There you go, you get a goal for every mission. Now, you can't crash into the ground if you have hardcore mode off. So, there you go, that was the fighters. Um, that's basically how you work the game. Um, so... Actually, I'm not gonna do a three-part, never mind. Um, here we go, this is a bomber's mission. This is very similar. Bombers are basically the same, except that they don't have- they have slightly more limited agility, and they typically don't have very good machine guns. Um, here we go. We got bombs here, guns here, rare gun, so you can fire a rare gun, and, and you can sort of steer the plane. 
engine overdrive and so on. Engine overdrive on bombers is always freaking horrible. I hope that you feel the controls of the bomber as good as on the fighter. Now, Jim, now you, you press B over target and order the crew to, to drop get the bomb the mode, and then you just press the fire Enjoy button the as team. usual to. Drop it, box. Target eliminated. Now, the thing about light bombers, they don't throw bombs down very fast. So. And I don't know why, but these AA vehicles like to fire at the buildings. And it's very annoying. But, um. Yeah, these are extra buildings right here that you can destroy. You can just tell because they got the typical gray, like, coal mine look and that kind of stuff. But, um. Yeah, this is basically what it looks like. Now, the plane does not turn very fast right now. We can upgrade the agility later. There you go. And it looks like I missed the last fuel tank. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna come around again and bomb the crap out of them as usual. Business as usual. I still don't understand how I missed that. Anyway, all enemies are destroyed. Yeah. Awesome. Here we go. Good job. Oh, uh, so you got gold here, hangar here, settings here. Let's go to the hangar. So you got two planes right now, the Wildcat and the Dauntless. These are the, the two main planes you start with, then you can buy a course here. Okay, here we go. La, 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 la. Okay, let's place, let's press this. Um, these are your plane upgrades, so this is a uh, pilot training, so this makes your plane fight by itself and basically just attacks the crap out of everything that it wants. You can order them to do the stuff. This is overdrive, armor, agility, and gunfire. You know, gun heating. Cooldown stuff. Uh, iron bottom sound. Wow. <laughs> Fun place. So anyway, well, this is your plane menu that you enter by um, pressing uh, L. We're on it, sir. Oh, I'm gonna We're on it, sir. order them all We're to attack on it, AA guns. Now hold on, if you press escape, you got the whole thing. So you can also put auto fire machine guns in aim mode, which is basically when you auto aim. And it starts firing immediately, which is not optimal. Uh, optimized mode, it just sort of gets rid of all the clouds and just looks terrible. There's like show subtitles, which aren't much fun. Um, invert Y axis, which I guess it just makes, I guess you just when you move your mouse up, it the plane moves down. Uh, these are the controls helpers that I'm actually gonna turn on now. So now, now you got all the key presses and everything. Now these AA guns, they, they, they won't fire if you're, you if you're above a certain altitude. Or no, they won't fire if you're, if you're down low. Unlike, um, And you can also run into trees, which sucks. Oh, where the hell is that? Oh, I see the fighters. I see them. Fighters. I don't like fighters. Freaking annoying. Um, here we go. Oh man, Dom, let's come on, buddy. Confirmed kill on enemy fighter. Uh, enemy fighter going down in flames. Enemy fighters are You're not even Watch getting close. Oh my god. I'm getting in train. He's ready for your orders, squadron leader. Both banged up because the idiots flying through trees. I mean, come on. <laughs> Dashing through the snow. I want a pair of broken skis. <laughs> Over the hills we go. Crashing into trees. <laughs> and we can see the plane's got the plane nose got a bit red. I swear we've been hit. Die zero die. That Dallas is gonna get a beating. Enemy locked on. If you get too close to one of the planes, um, they're gonna, you're just gonna run into it and blow yourself up, and that's uh, well a problem. Just churn along here. Um, I Enemy have to on. get my planes upgraded with the pilot Good thing kill. before Enemy anything else. Because achieved. they're just getting themselves Flight killed.
Okay. Yay, let's upgrade some planes. Um, Wildcat. No, you do not want to do this, because this is just, you know, there's no need to. You don't, there's no need, there's absolutely no need to increase climbing speed. Um, here we go, dock life, and this is really what's needed here. Um, I'm gonna go here, upgrade this idiot's, um, stuff there. Okay, I got no money now. Now what I'm gonna do is actually turn on hardcore, mo hardcore mode so I can have some more money. Here we go, premium missions are awesome. Here we go, let's destroy a fuel convoy. Now convoys, they just I'm generally go along a road or, and yeah. other than that they don't You're do on. much. They just sort of go on and go along a road and they stop at the end of the mission at the edge of the mission Flat area. Leader, they usually You're have AA a batteries, you know, little AA vehicles that can attack shoot attack at you from Way Completing down this there. Is a major tactical and that's very annoying. It, now, listen, I noticed that if you switch planes really quickly, um, your overdrive clears out. Which is awesome. See, these guys fire at you. He's gone. He's gone. Target He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Great, right, everybody's gone. One step closer to victory. Fighters just hopefully Time doing something on. good and not doing something bad. Um, yeah, we can buy a plane that's up to 230 gold, which in this case is just one plane, the Valk Corsair, which for some reason the algorithm that controls this plane, um, it sucks. It, it you know, if, if you're ever fighting against key 45 Torius, Japanese fighters, um, you're basically. This, this guy's almost always going to get banged up to the point of absurdity. It's very, very annoying. Um, buddy, 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 okay. I'm just going to upgrade this guy all the way if I can't. No, I can't. Damn. Anyhow, that's basically how you play the game. There you go. Um, for recommendations on planes, if you want to get a fighter, the Hellcat's absolutely the best fighter. The Mustang sucks, but this thing just is absolutely awesome. Carry torpedoes, rockets, bombs. Uh, it's also got 20 millimeter cannons. This thing is just brilliant against bombers. You can use it against AA guns. You can use it against ships if you want. I mean, it is the all-around awesome plane. Now, if you want a good bomber, well, I mean, obviously the B-29 Super Force is just bloody amazing. Uh, this thing has some actually surprisingly powerful front guns. Could shoot pretty well. Uh, the B-17 though has the most savage back guns, which can destroy AA batteries within seconds. The only thing that like beats this guy for uh, destruction from the from the rear end is uh is the G-8 Renz. And on the Japanese side, it's a big bomber, just like the B-29. So it's actually like the B-29 equivalent, but it's got some massive cannons on the back, which you don't want to get into the fire of them if you're uh, if you're toying around here. Now the Mitchell. This thing is more of a fighter bomber, actually. The, the front guns are absolutely insane. Like, this thing's got, compl you know, wacko guns in the front. This thing can just wreck, wreck anything in, the, in its path. So insane. Its back guns are pretty decent. Not as, not as strong as the front guns. Uh, it's still got 15 machine guns. It's got more than the damn B-17. Um... If you're looking for, like, a, you know, once again, Havoc also has some pretty savage front guns, but no bad guns at all. This thing is like a true fighter bomber. Um, Helldiver's a nice little plane. It's got 20 millimeter, millimeter cannons. So I say this thing is basically equivalent of the, equivalent of the HS-129 on the German side. Uh, it's a pretty decent, pretty decent plane. Uh... Mustang, I guess, is good. I mean, the only reason why I use this thing is because it carries so many rockets. Rockets are amazing. Uh, and then, for some reason, when you're on the Japanese side, you get attacked by this thing, which is a premium plane, which you don't, you shouldn't be able to get attacked by premium planes. It's just unfair. Anyhow, the Corsair, I just recommend putting out on rockets, or, you know, this guy usually works pretty well. Um, yeah, it's just about it. Uh, if I come up on anything interesting, I'll keep on telling you guys. Uh, yeah, that's just a basic overview. Here, uh, you also got, like, this little premium shop thing where you can get, like, these boosters and tokens and that kind of stuff. You get the, um, 
seriously thinking all these guys are just lame. They're good for nothing. Get gold too! <laughs> Like, you know, <laughs> 1,200 gold pieces. Uh, not much you can really do with that. Except for, like, buy two planes, maybe. This guy's... And Catalina is decent. It can carry two torpedoes, but other than that, it's just not that great of a plane. Anyhow. Bye-bye. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'll uh, just drop a line to the Peel Corporation at gmail.com. Or, um... Write me in the comments and I'll make sh I'll answer any questions, you know, techniques, flight techniques, whatever. See you guys.